For our walrus, we'll be using several balloons. I've got a pair of pink 260s, one with about a three and a half to four inch tail, one with about a two inch tail. I've got a white 160 with about a five inch tail. We're not even gonna use all of that. And then I've got two five inch rounds, uh, one pink that's gonna match the body, and then a purple one that I chose for the eyes. The pink one is about a two, little over two inch, and then the little purple one is a, just over an inch. We're gonna set those aside. I take your two 260s and grab the shorter of the two, the one with the longer tail. And come out to the end, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with about an inch and a half bubble, and we're gonna make a real small pinch twist here. And this needs to be small if you can get it that way. And then we're gonna make another bubble about the same size as that first bubble we made. Grab the knot, twist those two together, and then make another pinch twist here. This can be a little bigger, about a three-quarter inch bubble. Now we want about an inch and a half bubble. Another small half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. And then another bubble the same size as this one. Coming back down. So what we've got, we started here, we made a bubble, a pinch twist, came back, another pinch twist, we did this bubble, a pinch twist, and came back in to get to that there. That's gonna be the head of our walrus in a minute. Now you're gonna make about a two and a half to three inch bubble. Make another pinch twist. Now we're gonna make a bird body, but by having the head and the pinch twist, we don't have to do a row through, so we're gonna come back up. With another bubble the same size as this one, twist into there, and then one more bubble the same size back down to there. So, up, twist into the head. Back down, twist into that pinch twist there. Something looking like that there. Looking quite strange at this point. Now what we want to do is you're going to figure out about how long you want your body to be. And then remove any excess. And then just tie that off. Just like that. Now we're going to take our second 260. What we're going to do is we're going to tie it on to that end, that's why we went ahead and secured that off, and that gives us a nice little convenient place to tie those together so they're locked in place. Now we're gonna make um, a little pinch twist here. Now we're gonna go back up along to complete his body, so a bubble the same size as that one there. And then we need two fold twists so that they're about the width of your hand right there at that front part. These will be his front flippers. Just like that. And we'll straighten them all up in a minute. You're gonna come back along to the very back end. And then come out to the very end. Whatever you have left on the end, grab that and twist that into that pinch twist on the back, forming a bubble there and then take that bubble and make it into two fold twists, just like that, via his back flippers. Get those to position where he'll sit. Now what you're gonna do, if you'll take, that's why he's upside down. This here, what you want, bear with me for a second while I get this guy all position. The pinch twist at the front, the one on the bottom. The pinch twist at the back, sort of in the middle there. Oops, it came undone. So that you're getting to sit sort of like that. Now it's starting to take a little shape here. Hopefully you can begin to see it. Now we're going to take our five inch round, divide it into two, and give him some cheeks. Now this is his neck coming up. This is the front of his face, so we're going to twist that up around that one, there. Now he's got some cute little cheeks there. Then we're going to take the purple, divide it into two little bubbles as well, 
and twisting at that same point. Go ahead and give me some eyes up here. Like that. Now we're going to take the white, and this is going to be his tusk. And I did this extra long because I'm going to give you an option at this point. You can choose which way you want. If you use the two purple to get his eyes, you get that effect. If you want, if you don't like those eyes, you can take those eyes off. And disregard that purple. Straighten his body up here. He's been a little warmer today. Then you take your white, and we need two bubbles about the size of that there. Just like that. And you can let go of that for a second. And we're going to separate that piece, but you want to keep the rest of it inflated because that's going to be his tusk. So tie that off, and then come back and retie this one. We're going to make his eyes. So what you do is you come with this pinch twist we've got at the top, twist that around there, and then bring each of these ends down and twist them into his bottom of his face, his muzzle there, just like that. And if you don't like the two round eyes, you can go with this style of eyes. So you get a bit of a choice there. This depends on what sort of look you're looking for. Then his tusk, you want his tusk you don't want it to come down and hit the ground. So measure so that they're going to be up off the ground just a hair. Two, and then again, now you can remove the excess and let it go. Tie that back off. I'm going to trim those two ends. Use my handy dandy snippet. So we've got that bubble. And you want to divide that into two equal bubbles and attach that to his nose, that pinch twist on the front of his face. And then give them a little bit of shape, sort of like that. Let's draw some eyes on here real quick. And we'll give him some whiskers. And there's your walrus. So you can see, just like that.